Right, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be making hinges. So I want to make a, it's probably going to be a short video on how I make hinges. So what I've done is I've cut out these rectangles out of uh, 1.2 mil mild steel, right? I've got four of them because you'll need two per hinge. Okay, so how we do is first I've cut it out and I've marked um, three centimeters on one side, two centimeter gap, and another three centimeters on the other side. So, how are we going to carry on with that? I'm going to take a ruler. I'm going to mark out the one. Make another two centimeter gap there. Right, this one, same thing. Two centimeter gap. These. Right, so now they all have a two centimeter square in the middle. Now, the one you're going to be cutting out the middle, and the other one you're going to be cutting out the sides. Right, now I'm making hinges for this harness because it's just going to make it a little bit more personalized. Because you can always use uh, store bought hinges, and that that's fine, they, use, they hold up fine. Um, but if you want to make bit of, add a bit of a craftsman's touch to it, you make your own hinges. So I'm going to now cut out with my punch. Right. Right, so you don't have to be super accurate with those. You'll see what I'm going to do with the next step. Right, so what I'm going to do is use my punch. Right, so there you can see I've punched out the center. It's obviously very rough. Then what we do is <clears throat> grab our faithful metal shears. And there we go. 
So now I've punched that out. So what I'm going to move over to next is I'm going to file them down, file them smooth so I can fit that square very nicely. Right. Okay, so now that we've got our hinges nicely filed out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap it over. I'm gonna put it on the step on my anvil and I'm going to bend it in the middle. Same for the other one. in the middle right so now I've bent it nicely like that both of them are bent now you can see that they'll fit into one another you can see where I'm going with this right now now what you'll be doing is you'll take a nail right put that nail in there and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be bending it over okay put it in the corner there just like that okay very nice thing going and then we'll move on to the next part now we do the same thing for this side put the nail in And there we go. And if you've ground it up nicely and it fits nicely, you'll have a nice bending hinge. What you'll do with that then is I'm going to profile the sides here. You cut this short but not right there, you cut it there and then you'll pin it down a little bit so it locks the hinge in place so your nail doesn't slide out. Right, now we're going to go over to profiling it or giving it its uh, details. So we're going to mark the center here, two centimeters, two centimeters. I've marked a centimeter up from the hinge part. Now what you want to maybe do, now this comes up to however you want to do it. So I want to make the mark there, so it's a centimeter from there, centimeter from there. Then I'm going to go and I've put a centimeter, draw another straight line across both sides. Go across like that. Then in the middle here I'm going to put there a little mark, there a little mark, there a mark. And there are more. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle. Around these two parts. From there I'm going to draw a line there. A line there. And in between here. I'm going to mark it out there. All right, I'm going to do the same thing this side. Yeah, I know what it looks like. Control there, control there. They come down to the middle there to make a V, and that goes there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out, and then I'll show you the next step. Right, so now I've got it cut out. You can see I cut out both the front and the back. The back one, I left a bit of a a point sticking out there okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go file it so the profiles look 
consistent between the back and the front. Right, so now they're done, you can see how nicely those look now. Right, I'm going to clean them up with a bit of thinners, just to take all the gunk off for the next step that I want to do. Now these are pretty much done, you can now fit them with the, the um, nails to get them to mount them. But these, for this armor, I'm going to do a little bit different. Okay, it's a process you've seen before, but now these are going to be slightly different. Okay, so now there they are, and now for the next step. Okay, so we're going to brass these. I'm going to turn my little torch on you. Okay, heat it up. Okay, let's start heating these up. So I'm just waiting for a color change. And there we go. Now look at that. Look how nice that looks. So now, compared to the two different colors, looks like we have somewhat gold hinges. Right, so using the ball, ball pin part of a ball pin hammer, got our hinge there with our nail in the middle. Leave a little bit on the top. We're gonna pin it over. And there's our hinge. Now the nail can't come off, and we've got a nice brass hinge. There we go. Oh!